Kevin O'Hara with uh, Honeywell, and you're wearing a Bendix King shirt because you've been flying this great King Air with a brand new panel in it. It's the AeroView glass panel. Just give us kind of a broad overview of some of the functionality of what's in this airplane. The AeroView is derived from basically our very high-end avionics systems that are in the major business aircraft like uh, Gulfstreams, Falcons, Pilatus PC-12s. It's a three-display system, two primary flight displays, then a multifunction display. It's uh, very easy to use. It's all menu-driven. We have a cursor control device, which is uh, very handy. It's down in the console. Basically, you fly with your hand on the yoke and the other hand on the CCD, and you just rollerball around and select the functions that you want on a multifunction display or the primary flight displays. So what is the reasoning behind having the cursor control device? Basically, a trackball is a way for the pilot to interface with the avionics as opposed to another system. What I like about the trackball is that it provides a, a way in the console for you to hold your right hand on this trackball. So when you're in turbulence or something like that, all you have to do is move the trackball and hit the buttons that are on the side of the trackball to select the information that you want the FMS to do or the comm to do or other functions like the transponder, et cetera. So you really don't have to reach up there and worry about having your hand move around at arm's length. And it's also, too, it depends on the airplane you have. If you have an airplane that has displays very close to you, it's an easy deal to go up and hit the displays. But if not, like the King Air or something bigger like that, the uh, displays are further away from you. So it's very simple, very easy. Talk about some of the functionality of the avionics. What will this device do? It's very similar to what you have now. I mean, you have synthetic vision, our smart view system from Honeywell. It also has weather radar. It's very similar to the sophisticated avionic systems that you've seen in larger business jets. ADS-B out is included. Very sophisticated FMS system, VNAV capability, autopilot's included. Now, you're also offering the AeroWave internet connectivity package as part of the installation with the AeroView. What does that do for the owner? Well, that gives you the connected cockpit with the internet or texting while you're in flight. So you're really never out of touch with your office, with your loved ones. It's been a very popular addition to the system. When you buy the AeroView system, currently you get a free AeroWave system. So that's a $20,000 value right off the top of your head. And the installation? We'll actually begin installations next year. Our certification plan is to have it available first half of next year. And it's a very attractive price of at basically a $250,000 flyaway price. We've already had three deposits put on it here at the show. We only announced it on Monday. Great. Well, Kevin, thanks very much for taking some time to talk with us on Aero TV. We we'll hope to see you again. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Aero TV is brought to you by. Waco Classic Aircraft now offers the Great Lakes 2T1A2. Inspired by the classic YMF-5D, it's smaller but with 180 horsepower, simpler avionics, and fully aerobatic. Waco lets you fly simply for the fun of it. www.wacoaircraft.com A real airplane, not just a toy. The Airplane Factory Sling is a high-performance two-place LSA that fits the needs of private individuals, flight schools, and flying clubs alike, and has been called one of the best handling LSAs on the market. Check it out at www.airplanefactory.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero.